Community Unity illuminated the first Ontario Arts Centre as people gathered to honour volunteers and donors of Milton's Darling Home for Kids. The heartwarming gala was held to recognise outstanding contributions from the past year, contributions that are essential to meeting local needs. We deliver our care at the Darling Home for Kids, which is located in North Milton, and that's where we deliver all of our programs. So our hospice program includes end of life, we do a respite program to give families a break, and then we do residential care for children that live at the home on a full-time basis. The youngest person to receive recognition was eight-year-old Madeline Walker. She ran a lemonade stand at the Georgetown Farmer's Market and raised $2,700 for the cause. So I, I think all children should have um, the ability to act like children, play like children, so that's why I would like, that's why I raised money. Jeanette Power received recognition for her significant personal and financial contributions. She says that once she understood the mission, she needed to help. Being a mother myself, when I went to the gala the first year, I had no idea what Darling Home for Kids was all about. But then hearing the stories and hearing those stories for 10 years later was incredible. I would sit there listening, thinking how blessed I was that my own daughter was, you know, just leading a normal everyday life and seeing the impact that Darling Home for Kids had for not only the children but the families. It was touching, moving. You know, I just, I had to be more involved. Financial support is crucial for the home services, but so are volunteers. Abigail Herman has been helping at the home for two years and sees the impact she has firsthand. The Darling Home for Kids not only benefits the children in their care, but also the parents. Um, my mom has three kids and I know from experience it's a lot running the three of us around constantly and I can't imagine how difficult it must be balancing uh, work and other kids and a social life and everything else a parent has to deal with while having a kid who requires such intense care. So the Darling Home for Kids really gives not only the children but the parents an opportunity to take a break from all of that stress and to just relax and have some time for themselves. Ten awards were presented during the night but it was the heartfelt gratitude from one of the home's beneficiaries that underscored the evening's significance. We get so much from the Darling Home. The time that Sunny goes into respite uh, is so special for everyone. It's special for her and the care that she re receives. It's special for us and our, our other daughter, Skylar, to be able to do things that we wouldn't normally get to do. You'll never feel better about anything than donating to this wonderful charity. The Darling Home is full of people who truly care about these families and about these kids with very complex needs and uh, do yourself a favor, you'll never look back. Reporting from the First Ontario Arts Centre in Milton, I'm Dee Glazebrook for Halton News.